Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of August, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to show you all of the pickups that I did during the month of August. Um, August was overall a pretty light month. So I did get to save some money with not having to, to purchase as much as I normally um, normally do. But I did get quite a few titles, so I wanted to take time to show you what I got. Um, first up, I'm going to show you some of the U.S. Steelbook releases that I picked up. I did get Luca. Um, me and my wife watched this one. We really enjoyed it. Got Transformers, um, the movie 4K release. Steelbook. Really nice looking Steelbook. Got the Hitman's Bodyguard with this nice still book and also the hitman's wife's bodyguard with a still book and i got the harry potter still book so the harry potter and the sorcerer's stone so i did do unboxing of all of those if you'd like to check that out on my channel feel free to do so go ahead and show you all of the still books that i got from the uk which would be from zavi i did get i am legend really enjoyed this movie was able to revisit that and really enjoyed it. Um, I got X-Men Apocalypse with the lenticular uh, magnet card. X-Men Dark Phoenix. And Deadpool 2. So all of those had the lenticular magnetic cards. I got Unforgiven on 4K Steelbook. Got Jaws 2. Jaws 3 and Jaws the Revenge. So those are the still books that I got from the UK. I did do unboxings of all of those also. I also picked up the Corella 4K still book from Zavi, so check that video out. Um, next up, let me show you my Arrow video releases that I um, picked up. I did get um, Vengeance Trails, the four classic westerns. Really nice looking box set. I haven't had the chance to open this one up yet, but I'm definitely happy to have that one in the collection. I also got um, the Cat of Nine Tails, um, the 4K release, and also the um, limited edition release of the same film. And then I got Threshold. Don't really know much about this one, um, but I did read up on it before I purchased it, and it seemed like something that I, I would be interested in, so I picked that one up. And then I got the I got this box set. Don't know that I can pronounce that correctly, so I'm not going to try. Really nice hard box set. Um, I've had that pre-ordered for a while and finally received the order. So nice to have that one in the collection. And then one of my favorite pickups for the month that finally arrived from Zavi is the True Romance um, Arrow release with the still book on the inside. So very happy to have this one in the collection. I really do enjoy this movie, and I'm very happy to have the still book with it. Okay, some of the um, other type of um, special releases I got um, from Vestron. I did get Sundown, the Vampire in Retreat um, film from um, for the Collector series with a slipcover. I have not seen this film yet. It just actually arrived today. So i um, happy to have that one in the collection. From Eureka, I got Prophecy. Um, from Paramount Presents, I got Nashville and A Place in the Sun. From MVD, um, the Rewind Collection, I got the Go-Go Boys. I've heard great things about this one. I can't wait to check this one out. I got um, The Dark and One Dark Night. So those are all from the MVD Rewind Collection. Very happy to have these in the collection. Then from Severin, I did get um, Cannibal Man with a slipcover. Um, I've actually never seen this film. When I saw that it was available, I went ahead and purchased that. And of course, I got Overboard, which I'm very, very happy to have this one in the collection. I really enjoyed this movie. I remember seeing this one in the theater when it came out. So nice to have that one with a slip. And then I got Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. This one took a while to get in. It was back order for quite some time. But I did finally get this one with a slip. So I heard great things about this one. Now from Screen Factory, I finally was able to get the Poison Ivy collection. Now this has been pre-ordered for several months. Um, for whatever reason, it went out of stock for a while. 
but it finally came back in stock. I've been wanting to add, I've been wanting to make sure that I had all of the Screen Factory box sets in the collection. And so this is one that I needed. So very happy to have this one. I've only seen the first film. I have never seen any of the sequels. I haven't heard very many, I have not heard very many good things about the sequels, but I am glad to have the first film in the collection with the rest of them. And then I also got the Collins the Collinswood story. Um, this is from Cauldron. This is an exclusive. And um, this one here, um, La Possession del Altar. Atel, Atel. Anyways, I can't pronounce that. But very happy to have this one in the collection also. Um, these are both found footage type films, which I really do enjoy the found footage um, genre. So very happy to have these in the collection. And then some of my regular pickup releases, I'll do the 4K releases first. I did get a really, really good deal on A Perfect Planet um, with a slip. So I finally pulled the trigger on this one and got it. I've been seeing this one in Target for quite some time. And then Amazon had a sale for it on it, so I picked it up. I do enjoy the nature documentaries, and they always do such a great job with it. I got the Walmart exclusive Luca um, 4K release with this slip. So very happy to have that one. Also, I got the Target edition with the um, lithographs on the inside. And I did get Labyrinth, the um, 4K 35th anniversary edition. I do believe this is a digibook type packaging um, with a clear slip or some kind of slip. I haven't gotten it opened up. So those are the 4K pickups. And then for the regular pickups that I got, I did get Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. Definitely looking forward to checking this one out. I still haven't had a chance to watch the first one, so maybe I'll do a double feature and watch both of these. I got Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, regular Blu-ray release. I got Occupation Rainfall. Haven't um, I, so when I got this one, I did some research, found out that there was a there was a first movie. This is the sequel to that, so I need to get a hold of the first one. It looks really, it looks really. Um, I don't know how to say it. Low budget, kind of. I haven't really heard anything about this movie, um, but I did pick it up. It was cheap. So if you've seen that one, let me know what you think about that. I got Finding You. It was pretty inexpensive also, so I picked this one up. And then I got just the regular Blu-ray release for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone with the Magic Movie Mode. Really love the artwork on this. And then I got The Waterman from RLJE. Every Breath You Take. This right here is another... Um, see what, Who put this one out? Um, vertical. I think I picked this one up at Walmart, maybe. But anyway, it has Casey, Casey Affleck in it, so I went ahead and got this one. I got the birthday cake. I know for sure that I got this one at Walmart. Um, it has Val Kilmer in it, so I picked it up. I watched the trailer. It seems okay. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know if you've seen this and what you think about it. It is a gangster type film, but I thought I'd give that a shot. I got Those Who Wish Me Dead, which I've heard mixed reviews about. So I got that one. And then another from RLJE, I got Seance, which looks really interesting. Stay Out of the Attic, shutter release with the RLJE. Really, um, I think I really will like this one. This looks pretty good. And then some TV shows I got. I got um, Historic Material Season 2. And I got Fear the Walking Dead, the complete sixth season. So I am one of those who have st has stuck with The Walking Dead and also the Fear of the Walking Dead. I've seen every episode, every season of both. So, I really have been enjoying Fear the Walking Dead. I know a lot of people gave up on it several seasons ago, just like they did with The Walking Dead. But I am still watching it. I really do like it. really like the image there of Morgan. I think, I think they did a really good job of the way they made him look. I really don't remember why he would have red eyes in this. But, anyways, I got this. So, those are my pickups for the month of August. Hopefully you were able to get all of the items that you wanted during the month. Um, 
I'm very happy with what I got. Got quite a few good titles. Um, maybe a few not so good titles. I don't know quite yet. I am still watching one movie a day, a minimum of one movie a day. So I have seen a lot of movies during the month of August. So if you want to see what I've been watching, um, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I got the link down below. So check out what I've been watching. Maybe let me know what you think about what I've been watching. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you've been watching because I really do enjoy reading all of your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, if you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I am on TikTok, which I'm almost at a thousand um, followers. So I've been really working hard to get the TikTok account up and going. I wanted to get to a thousand so that I can do um, live TikToks. Um, for whatever reason, I wanted to do that. So if you haven't found me on TikTok, please check that out. All of the all of the links to my social media accounts are down below. Um, but anyways, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.